A, a eso le llamamos orgullo cuando están haciéndose pasar como humildes. Baruch Hashem Yahuwah. Baruch Hashem Yahuwah. And I'll tell you one thing that'll stop you from being humble. Attitude. You can't wreak it. You can't wreak it. You could have attitude issues, but you can't let it wreak. Because that also is a manifestation of pride. Baruch Hashem Yahuwah. Let's go now as we wind down. The verse 4. I was at the end of verse 4. I was to them as one who removes a yoke from their jaws. I, I came to take the yoke out. I bent down to feed them my, my, my ways. That's Yahuwah's eternal heart. That's what he's going to do in the greater exodus. He's going to remove the yoke in the jaw. He's going to take away the cords of man and lead us in cords of love. Totally opposite of, of slave cords. Israel's exodus on this day was to bind us in cords of love and remove the, bond, the cords of bondage, the yokes, of Egypt, and feed that to us. And the main thing that we need fed to us is the whole wheat matzah. The whole wheat matzah, Yahusha's body and his Torah. He is the whole wheat unleavened bread, is he not? That's why his body is not from an egg. His body is not from a sperm. He had no father and he had no mother. He was put in Mary's womb because his flesh was given to him by the father. He came in his own flesh. Had he come in Adam's flesh, it would have been corrupted. That's what we celebrate. The whole wheat unleavened bread. Not of this world and not processed by this world. And not tainted by this world. Verse 5. Baruch Hashem Yahuwah. Hosea 11.5. How many are enjoying? So while you're here facing Jerusalem. Some of you are on the edge of your seat. Because you're anticipating the promise of a future exodus. It doesn't end with a story that happened or an account that happened 3,500 years ago. It speaks of something yet to come. De algo que todavía está por venir. Our brothers and sisters fraternos y fraternos will return regresarán in the last and final exodus. En el último y éxodo final. And that includes many Muslims. Y eso incluye a muchos musulmanes. Because many in India and Pakistan have Israelite DNA, but, but they're practicing Islam. Muchos en la India y en Pakistán tienen ADN israelita, see, pero están practicando el Islam. See, unlike some of us, Muslims have no problem. Ven a diferencia de muchos no, de nosotros. They'll never hurt, hurt me or kill me. Los you know why? Because no I talk their conmigo. language. Porque hablo su idioma. I talk Torah and eating clean. Hablo Torah. These are things they understand. Hablo de comer limpio. Estas son cosas que ellos comprenden. When you come as a Christian and you tell them there are three gods, get ready to have your head chopped. Cuando tú, cuando tú vienes como un cristiano y les dices que les dices que they don't have a problem with you. Te cortarán la cabeza, pero ellos no tienen problema. They listen to this broadcast. We, have, we heard from one of them last night. Escuchan esta transmisión. Ayer oímos de uno. Aren't you scared of what? Que no tienes temor. They're ¿Qué? human beings who are looking for the truth. Son seres humanos que están buscando la M. And my sword is bigger than their sword. Y mi espada es más grande que la de ellos. I've been preaching to Muslims for 30 years. Le he estado predicando a musulmanes por 30 años. Because they know I love them. 
porque saben que los amo. I love them. I don't. I, I, I love them enough to tell them the truth. Los amo lo suficiente para decirles la verdad. And here's a man who knows what he's talking. Y aquí viene un hombre que sabe de lo que está. Here's a man who, who reads and, and understands what the Quran. Una persona says. que lee y entiende lo que dice el Corán. You want to reach Muslims, you gotta you, you gotta do the time. Si quieres alcanzar a los musulmanes, tienes que dedicar el tiempo. But they can be reached. Pero ellos pueden ser alcanzados. Because the Quran, the Quran is full of, of, of things that are true about Porque el Corán está repleto de cosas que sí son ciertas acerca de ellos. You just have to know how to use those tools. Simplemente necesitas saber cómo usar esas herramientas. Baruch Hashem Yahuwah. Exaltado sea Yahuwah. So the whole... How were we redeemed? Entonces, ¿cómo fuimos redimidos? By the blood, Por la sangre, Torah, Torah, repenting of Baals, el arrepentirnos de Baalim, getting rid of the human cords, de las cuerdas humanas. and Yahweh said it's going to happen again. Y dice, Va a pasar de nuevo. Two more verses and then we're done. Because you're hungry, I'm not. I can keep going for two y more hours. Yo no, puedo por dos más. You're the guys that are hungry. Son los nice. I'm, I'm doing fine. Yo estoy Now, maybe if I was sitting there, I wouldn't be thinking the same way. It's a little bit harder to sit than it is to teach. I got it. My adrenaline is flowing. Yours is a little bit late. I, I got it. Verse 5. Let him then return to the land of Mishraim. Now, people say, oh, Shaliyah, you know, you, you can be sarcastic. Have you ever heard that one before? We're not mentioning any names, brother. I love you. He's, he's, look, <laughs> look at me. He he's, looks can kill. Couldn't I tell you not to? Some people have accused me of being a little bit sarcastic. Por lo tanto, déjalo regresar. And it's true. I have to admit it. But I can blame it on New York. Déjalo regresar. It's where I come from. Let, but watch, let, let's see if the Heavenly Father has given me this gift of sarcasm. Let, let's see where, where this comes from. Let him, meaning my son, I bent down to feed them, they didn't want it. I came down to remove their yoke and they went back to Mitzrayim. False religions, false doctrines, false belief systems. Falsas, doctrinas falsas, pensamientos de creencia falsos. Okay, so let them return to the land of Mitzrayim. Okay, let them return to the Assyrian who captured the the northern kingdom in 720 BC and let the Assyrian be his new king. They didn't want me as king. They refused to, to make Teshuvah to me. So they were slaves in Egypt. They wanted to go back to Egypt. And then when the Assyrian king came, he enslaved them again. If they don't want to be Yashar, if they don't want to walk upright on the straight and narrow path, then let them go back to Egypt and look for the Assyrian. So he's being sarcastic. Okay, you don't want me? Well, what? go back to Egypt. Pues You'll find your king there. You'll run into the Assyrian who took you captive in 720 BC. And so that is where Ephraim is today. Is it not interesting that in Micah chapter 5 the end time Assyrian king El rey asirio de los últimos tiempos is also called the anti-Messiah or the Muslim Antichrist. O el anticristo musul, uh, Muslim Antichrist. Musulman. He's prophetically called se conoce como the Assyrian. El asirio. Now here's what Yahuwah said. Y eso es lo que dijo Yahuwah. Here's what he said. Eso es lo que dice. If you will not return to me, si no quieres regresar a mí, Then why don't you go to Egypt? Entonces, ¿por qué no te vas a Egipto? Or better yet, o mejor aún, why don't you accept the end time Assyrian king? ¿Por qué no aceptas al rey asirio de los tiempos finales? And become a Muslim. Y te haces un musulmán. And live under Sharia law. Para vivir bajo la ley Sharia. 
I told you earlier. Como les dije anteriormente. A lot of Israelites now live under Sharia. Muchos israelitas están viviendo bajo la ley Sharia. This has come to pass. Y esto ya se ha manifestado. But now watch this. Ven esto. We're going to end where we started. Vamos a acabar donde empezamos. This Exodus. Este éxodo. Will include. Incluirá. Ephraim's awful decision. A la decisión terrible de Efraín, to go back to Egypt spiritually where they met the Assyrian king read that again because some of you are not you're not going to get it if you don't read it again look at verse 5 I'm, I'm not making this stuff up if they will not live Yashar Si no quieren vivir rectamente, Yashar, then go ahead. Entonces, adelante, return to Egypt. Regresen a Egipto. There you'll find the Assyrian Allí king. Encontrarán al rey Asirio. In the latter days. En los últimos tiempos, Egypt is primarily a Muslim nation. Egipto es principalmente una nación musulmana. Because you refused to stay in Teshuvah to me. Ya que se rehusaron mantenerte, mantenerse en Teshuvah And a when mí. you backslide in the cords of man into Egypt. Y cuando resbalan en las cuerdas del hombre a Egipto. Sarcastically, he says, let me know when you run into the Assyrian king. Dice, déjenme saber cuando se topen con el I'm going to read this for you. Turn with me to Micah. Vayan conmigo a Micah. Anyone enjoy it? The Antichrist is a Muslim. He's an Assyrian. And he's saying, be careful. If you don't fly right. If you don't live like Israel. Be careful. Because you're going to run into the Assyrian king. And that's where you'll find your king. That's where you'll find your king. So the end time Antichrist will come from the land of Assyria. Modern day Turkey. Syria, Turkey, that area. Watch this. Verse 5. Micah 5, 5. Messiah will be the shalom and the answer. When the Assyrian comes into our land and treads on our palaces and our holy places, we will raise against him seven shepherds and eight principal men. So we don't want to go into that. But the point is, he's going to be the anti-Messiah. So if, if Ephraim does not repent, he will wind up serving the Assyrian. And today that is the religion of Islam. And we close where we began. How great an exodus. Go back to Jeremiah 16. Verse 14. What day did we come out of Mitzrayim? Today. But the greater exodus will be completed on this day. The greater exodus. It will be in stages. It will be progressive. It will be progressive in stages. But it will end on this day. Watch this. Therefore, the days are coming, says Yahweh. That it will no more be said. Yahuwah lives. Who brought up the children of Israel. From the land of Mitzrayim. But it shall be said. Yahuwah lives. Who brought up the children of Israel. From the land of the north. Where is that? Assyria. Turkey. Where the ten tribes went into their exile. And first they went north to Assyria. And from Assyria to all the land. Where I had driven them. I will bring them back again spiritually. And physically. To the land that I gave their Ahavot. What an exodus. Not only are people going to come out in the greatest numbers ever. They're even going to come out of Islam. And come back to the Elohim. Abraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov.
Baruch Hashem. Baruch Hashem. And all the people of Yahuwah said, Amen. Let's give Yahuwah a big toda raba <laughs> for the Exodus <laughs> and the greater Exodus <laughs> that is yet to come. We love you. We thank you for being with us <laughs> today. <laughs> and we're going to ask the people here to be so kind and head to the kitchen. I'm going to finish part two and three of this teaching on Shabbat and then probably on the uh, eighth day, which is also the celebration of his resurrection. So we'll talk more about the final exodus in the next two meetings. Choir, please. Shalom, shalom, everybody. Shalom, shalom. From Goshen, Bitsafo. We'll meet you over there. Baruch Hashem.